Hello and welcome to your online English lesson for grade 8. My colleague Rashilka Budic and I have prepared this lesson for you, but I will be your teacher today. My name is Ljerka Vukic. In this lesson, you're going to make a presentation with a dialogue about a piece of art by using subject and object questions. For this lesson, you need a notebook and a pencil or a pen, a device with internet connection, and a QR code reader. Let's take a look at this word, art. What comes to mind when you think about it? What associations? Let's take a look at some of mine. Drawing, film, artist, painting, brush, music, color, graffiti, book, canvas. Canvas is where painters paint, slikarsko platno. Sculpture. Were any of these your associations as well? And now look at this classroom situation. The teacher is saying, we are going to visit the Gallery of Modern Art next week. And look at the student. The student is thinking, no, not again. Why not cinema for once? Just hope we take some burgers afterwards. Do you sometimes feel like this boy? Children usually don't like galleries, do they? Why do they feel like that? What do you think? Some people like going to galleries and some students too. So what are some possible reasons for visiting an art gallery? Let's take a look at six possible reasons. You can enjoy looking at works of art and meditate upon them. You can learn about art and understand it better. A visit to a gallery can boost your creativity. Art can broaden your horizons. You can have fun with your family or friends. And you can see what artists think about the world today. So here are six reasons. And now please open your notebooks and write these reasons in the order of importance. So number one is the most important reason, and number six is the least important reason for visiting an art gallery. So pause the video and write. So welcome back and take a look at these four pictures, please. They have something in common, but what is it? They all share the same word, the word gallery. The word gallery comes from Latin, galeria, meaning a church porch. So in the first picture, you can see the spectators at the sporting event sitting at the gallery. In the second picture, you can see a porch along the outside of a building. In the third picture, you can see a narrow balcony along an upper floor inside the building. It's a seating area, usually for the church choir. And in the last picture, you can see a room or series of rooms where works of art are exhibited. So now that we know what a gallery is, 
Let's see who works at an art gallery. A painter. And what does he do? He paints. Who else? A curator. What does he do? He organizes and arranges exhibitions. A guard, too. She protects paintings and exhibits. A cashier. She sells tickets. And also, a guide works at the gallery. She leads tours through the gallery. Look at these works of art. They're beautiful, aren't they? But they're also very different. They belong to different genres in art. Can you recognize any of them? And now please follow this link bit.ly slash genres in art and there you will match these works of art to their genres. So pause the video and follow the link please. And now it's time to play. There are two games here for you. In the first one, you're going to match the art genres to their definitions. You can find the game if you have a QR code reader, and then you can scan the code. And if you don't, there is a link, bit.ly slash art genres. But be careful, A-R-T are capital letters. When you finish with the first game, then play the second one. There is also the QR code or the link, bit.ly slash art genres. Have fun. And now watch the video and learn about different artists, their works of art and their thoughts. While watching, choose one painting or one thought you like and explain why you like it in one or two sentences and send it to your teacher. I hope you've enjoyed this video tour through the gallery and I'm sure you remember this. This is Leonardo da Vinci, right? And he painted Mona Lisa. Leonardo painted Mona Lisa. Who painted Mona Lisa? Leonardo da Vinci. Here we are asking about the subject who, so this question is called subject question. Who did Leonardo paint? 
Mona Lisa. Here we are asking about the object. So this question is object question. Look at the other example from the gallery. Monet painted poppy fields. Who painted poppy fields? Monet painted poppy fields. Look at this question and think for a second. What kind of a question is it? Who? Monet. It's a subject question, of course. Now listen to this question. What did Monet paint? Monet painted poppy fields. What? Poppy fields. So this question is an object question. Well done. I sada primijetite kako se ova dva pitanja razlikuju. Who painted poppy fields? What did Monet paint? U jednom od tih pitanja postoji pomoćni glagol i infinitiv. To je u objektnom pitanju. Dok u subjektnom pitanju postoji samo glavni glagol, painted, jednako onom glagolu u izjavnoj rečenici. To je zato što subjektna pitanja radimo na taj način da ponovimo glagol iz izjavne rečenice, dok u objektnim pitanjima koristimo pomoćni glagol i glagol u infinitivu. And now let's learn and play. So here is a game for you with subject and object questions. If you have a QR code scanner, scan the code. If you don't, then follow this link bit.ly slash subject object q. Have fun. And now, children, back to our notebooks. So, here is a sentence about Piet Mondrian. Piet Mondrian painted the abstract painting. Your task now is to make two questions about this sentence. Begin with who and what. So, please, pause the video, copy the sentence, and make two questions. Be careful about subject and object questions. Welcome back. I hope you have something like this. Who painted the abstract painting? And what did Pierre Mondrian paint? Well done. And here is another example for you. Vincent van Gogh painted a self-portrait. So copy the sentence and make two questions. Begin with who and what. Welcome back. The first question is who painted a self-portrait? And the second one is what did Vincent van Gogh paint? Good job. And another example, Michelangelo made the Pietà. So please copy this sentence and then write your questions. Pause the video, copy and write. Well done, welcome back. And the questions are who made the Pietà? And what did Michelangelo make? Great. And the last example for you. A guard protects paintings and exhibits. So, copy the sentence and make two questions. One with who and one with what. Pause the video, copy and write the questions. Welcome back. So the questions are who protects paintings and exhibits and what does a guard do? Well done. And now your homework. You're going to search 
the collection of the National Gallery in London. But how are you going to get there? You can follow this link here, bit.ly slash ngcollection, or scan the QR code. After that, you're going to choose one of the three painters, Vincent van Gogh, Claude Monet, or Paul Cézanne. And you'll choose one of his paintings you like best. After that, you're going to write a short introduction about the painter you have chosen. Then, you're going to write an interview with the painter about your favorite painting. Remember to use subject and object questions in your interview. After that, you're going to make a presentation using PowerPoint, Canva, or Prezi and share it with your classmates and your teacher. You're going to take them all on a tour to the National Gallery in London. It's a lot of work, but it's going to be great. So here's a checklist to help you with your work. I have written a few sentences about my favorite painter. Tick yes or no. I have interviewed my favorite painter. Yes or no. And I have subject and object questions in my interview. Yes or no. Great. So for art lovers, or those of you who are just interested in art, here is a virtual tour of the National Gallery in London. Isn't it great that you can get there just by following the link bit.ly slash ng virtual tour or by scanning the QR code. It's great. Go there and enjoy yourselves. This is almost the end of our lesson. But before you leave, I would like you to remember the video and answer this question. What did Michelangelo say at the age of 87? He said, I'm still learning. This is one of my favorite thoughts. I hope you have found a thought or a piece of art that you like in this lesson. Till next time, goodbye.